so uh, balancing uh, professional and personal goals uh, from a goal standpoint is actually easy for me. That's the easier part of the question. I think there's another underlying question underneath it. But uh, um, there's a saying of do what you like, right? And and make sure uh, you uh, your job is something you really enjoy, right? And so... I'm a firm believer in that. I'm a builder. I really like to build and grow projects, programs, uh, businesses, right? And so that's the kind of role I am in right now. That's the kind of roles I um, feel very excited about. They're very passionate. And so my personal goals and my uh, uh, professional goals are very much aligned. So if I'm successful in one, I'm successful in the other. Um, and I can take the risks accordingly. The underlying question is, how do I balance work life, right? And that becomes very difficult, especially with the pandemic. That hasn't helped us uh, uh, in recent, because we're all locked into our homes and we're not traveling much and we're all, uh, you know. So what happens at 5.30 when I say, oh, but they really need me. Let me take just one more call. There's no travel. I'm at home already, right? I, I did. And then that takes turns into two more calls. And then same thing in the morning. Hey, the European team needs to talk to me. And then the Asia Pac team needs to talk to me in the evening. And then it becomes very blurred. And so my suggestion is uh, you have to draw the lines. Um, if you ask uh, my team, they will tell you that uh, um, in, in whatever team I've had for the last uh, you know uh, three decades, um, I rarely ask anybody to work on weekends. Now, does that mean that there isn't some travel requirements or there might be an urgent situation or a client facing situation where we've got to work uh, uh, through the weekend and stuff? Absolutely, that happens. But what I try to do for myself and I ask my team to really block off uh, the weekend, right? Um, now, that might mean that I work all the way till uh, 10 p.m., 11 p.m. on a Friday night. But when that when I do shut down for that evening, I, I try to shut down till Monday morning, right? And then throughout the week, I also uh, try to block uh, um, some time, right? Some personal time, even if it's just going out for a walk. Um, and it's, uh, uh, you know, my whole neighborhood knows that, you know, here's Tejas, he might be uh, out walking at 12 in the afternoon or, or three in the afternoon, but I do take a, uh, um, a, a mental health break uh, throughout the day. And, you know, I, I almost schedule it right into my uh, daily routine. I think that's very important because we're so used to being in back to back to back to back meetings and it's just not healthy. I don't think humans were meant to do that. And it also gets you in a hectic mode because you're just jumping from one meeting to the next meeting to the next. It's always good to take a pause. I might listen to some music. I might just uh, um, just walk without the, uh, you know, there's also been times when I don't even have the phone because uh, we're only talking about a 15, 20 minute walk down around the neighborhood and back, right? So.